Oh, welcome back to Vanderbilly.com. This is part two of a lesson on divine intervention by Matthew Sweet. In this part, I'm going to be covering the first solo by the great Richard Lloyd, so let's take a look. Okay, this song has a very interesting solo, uh, first solo by Richard Lloyd. Uh, it goes back and forth between uh, E major and E minor. It's kind of cool. Um, and uh, at a little less than speed, it goes something like this. Okay, so what's happening here is we're starting off with uh, actually this is an, a piece of an A chord. You're up at the um, so make it make a D form. Move up to the ninth fret. That's an A chord, and you're just going to use the actually the uh, E string and the B string. So you've got the uh, ninth fret and the tenth fret, and you're going to play that six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're going to come down and play. So that's just open E, uh, E string third fret, E string open, uh, B string third fret, and E string open. Then you're going to come back to this double stop, this uh, A chord, and you're going to play it three times, and then you're going to bend into uh, the the B string at the twelfth fret. And pick up the E string at the at the twelfth fret. You're gonna play. Uh, then then slide up on the D string at the ninth fret and play. And then you're going to play this little uh, hammer-on pull-off thing. Uh, it's kind of cool. So you're going to start um, on the ninth fret, and you're going to hammer on to the eleventh and pull off. Then the seventh to the ninth. Then the sixth to the seventh. Then you're going to play that um, sixth fret of the uh, G string with some vibrato. And then the uh, D string at seventh fret twice. So that's then you're going to bend um, the G string uh, at the fifth fret and pick up the uh, E string at the fifth fret, and then you've got this uh, series of unison bends, and I, I'm not really sure how many he does. It's uh, uh, B string. Um, at the 8th fret into the E string at the 5th fret. About that many times. Uh, but you'll be able to tell because you're playing over this uh, chord, D chord. And then he ends with... So that's just a pull-off. Um, e string 7th to 5th. Uh, and then hammer on... Uh, B string eighth, and then back to the E string uh, fifth, and play twice. So, so, and then you're going to uh, grab this E uh, E string at the um, at the uh, ninth fret. All right, so that's a uh, C sharp, and you're going to bend this a uh, step and a half so that you get an E. So this is your target. So you're going to bend it way up. So you're going to go and then let it back down. So it's so that bit is. And 
and then the uh, the end of it, the end of the solo is to down here seventh and fifth of the E string. Then you've got this sort of descending. It's like a Mixolydian uh, hammer-on pull-off. So it's. Uh, And um, so what you're doing is, and then hammer on uh, B string, uh, seventh to eighth, and off to seventh. Then um, fifth to seventh. Then third to fifth. Then second to third. Then open to second. Then G string, open second, and then uh, you can throw in this D couple of notes. But it's really part of the E chord. Sorry. Uh, and that's uh, pretty much how the idea of how it goes. Um, now, different parts of this are, you know, major and different parts are minor. So when you start off with, you know, this thing is an A chord. And then this is uh, the minor, A minor. Then this part is uh, major. So is this. But then you move into the minor scale with the. Uh, and this stuff is sort of, sort of, I think, from the Mixolydian scale. So, um, hope you find that uh, fun. And uh, if you have any questions, certainly uh, shoot me a note. Take care.